create one on each side Hello beautiful people, my name is Matilda and welcome to Life With Me. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys along for my recording process. One of my New Year's resolutions in 2020, this year, is to release 12 new songs. The reason I'm doing this is, first of all, to release more original material as I've really been blocked in the past about releasing original material. It's literally this feeling of it's never good enough. You can always work on your song a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. So that's the first reason to kind of learn how to let go of songs and put them out there. So all of you guys can listen to them as well. The second reason I'm doing this is because I want to learn a lot in this process. I want to learn how to record guitars at home, how to record vocals, a little bit more about producing, and I want to learn how to be more self-sufficient so I can produce my art myself without having to constantly be relying on other people. Well, I wanted to document this process in general so I can also look back at the end of the year and see how far I've come. This is day one of recording the first song of the year. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So first of all, I'm going to open Logic and plug in my interface, which right now I can't find. And it's because Matt had it. So, so I started with plugging in my interface. Um, this one's a really good one, the Focusrite interface. I've been using it for years, and I then opened up a new project, and I was ready to go. So you said going input two, and I'm uh, doing guitars. All right. So input one, fantastic. Record enable, and yes, that is a stuffed duckbill platypus at the back. Cool, Billy. It's too heavy for my actual stand. Had to put two little weights, one on each side, to hold it down. I don't really know what this is called in English, but it's pretty much just a little. While you record classical guitar. So. All right. So I saw on a YouTube tutorial that. You really want the microphone at like the 12th fret, six inches away from the 12th fret. So, I really don't want this to fall over. For any actual studio engineers and producers watching this, I'm sorry if I'm doing it all wrong, but that you're just learning and figuring it out as I go. I'm gonna see how this sounds. I then made sure to fix my gain and set it just right so there would be no peaking, but at the same time it would pick up as much of my guitar as possible. Before recording at home like this, I always put a poster on my door outside saying recording in process, please do not disturb, because the worst is when you're mid-recording and someone knocks on your door to come in. If you're in like, a house share situation, like make sure, yeah, people know. All right, so guitar has gone pretty well. I'm gonna try and do some, lay down some vocals today and see how that sounds. So I'm gonna do a quick vocal warm up and get straight to it. So that means moving the mic and moving this thing that I've got at the moment <laughs> at there at the bottom. Books, weights, all of the shebang. Again with vocals, I made sure that the gain was right and there was no peaking but at the same time it was loud enough that it was picking everything up and yeah, I just played around with that for a second, did some sound checks till I was ready to go. Wrong lyrics, let me start again. Okay, so day one is done. I got a ton done. I got my lead vocals, lead, uh, main rhythm guitar. I got a few ideas for lead guitar. I got pretty much all my backing vocals. 
and I started already with uh, a little bit of reverb, delay, and the tiniest bit of mix. I'm knackered. I've been doing this for about four or five hours. It just really flowed, um, and yeah, just everything was pouring out. I'm gonna leave now. Leave it now, because I don't want to work on it for too long uh, in one sitting. I will check in with you guys for day two of recordings. Hello, beautiful people. All right, so today is the, I think it's like the third day I've been working on questions. The reason I didn't record on the second day of working on questions is because literally I didn't really add much on the second day. I just kind of had a little play with production and I'm gonna talk you guys through, when I'm actually doing the mixing process, I'm gonna talk you guys through what I'm actually doing with the track. Um, but yeah, I wanted to introduce you, which you guys, I'm sure if you've seen my channel, you've definitely met Matt before. But yeah, here's Matt, my lovely session basis for the day and also my lovely partner um in music in life in crime and everything <laughs> it's gonna be laying down uh, a bass track to the song that i'm recording uh we've already kind of sat through and had a little talk about what i want for the track i'm just gonna get out of his hair i just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to him and i'm gonna get out of his hair while he records um and let him do what he does best which is record bass so <laughs> let's do this I don't know what day it is uh, in terms of how long I've been working on this track, but um, it's been a few weeks and I'm super pumped, super excited to share it with everyone. Obviously there's that doubt because it's like a few days before I'm actually going to share it to the world. So there's that doubt of, is this track good enough? You know, should I be working on it for longer? But actually I'm so happy I've actually set this goal up for myself to work on a track for one month and like from start to finish and release it like just be okay with where i'm at in that moment you know um i mean there's so much that i'm already learning and so much creative freedom i can have by doing this 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 whole um process by myself i'm just really really loving it uh which i didn't expect to really so that's quite surprising and yeah i think sort of the last bits are, are the hardest you know where do i where do I pan the, the, the track? Do I make it do some crazy stuff? Or do I keep it simple? You know, what effects do I put? Like, all this is such an amazing experience and I'm super excited. I am halfway done, but I still have a little while to go. Um, I still have to master the track. I'm pretty much mixing as I go and then I'm gonna master the track um, to the best of my abilities. So, let's keep working on this. Cool, 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 cool. Cute. All right, so I've been just tweaking now delays and just tweaking the volume um, and the panning and a more delay. Just now going over the whole track and seeing if there's anything that needs to be changed or modified in any way. Super excited with this track. Like seriously, like all these little doubts, uh, all the doubts that I hear of Oh, but is this track good enough and this and that, all for myself. Um, I'm fading away because I'm really enjoying making this track, so I'm so, so pumped. Now the next day, and I really wanted to finish the track by today, but actually listening to it yesterday after taking a little break and having a listen in the evening with Matt, uh, my partner, and uh, who recorded bass on the track, 
we actually both think there's something kind of missing in the last section of the song so um i'm gonna record some guitar at the end which is kind of what i originally wanted to do anyway um for this song so it's gonna be really simple i should get it done like literally in the next like 15 to 30 minutes hopefully she said um and uh and yeah, and then it'll just be uh, making sure that little piece that I've recorded like is is just all like EQ'd properly and everything. And then the thing I've been putting off, obviously, because it's the last thing, um, the master. I've never mastered any track before. I've kind of done like rough mixes for anything I've uploaded like on YouTube and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is this is a. Uh, Oh, so many firsts for me. I also finished today the artwork. Um, I have many artworks for questions, so I don't even know which one I'm going to choose in the end. Um, oh, and also, look at my new standing desk. I am so happy with this, as it means I can work and just do all the things that I need to do without hurting my back. All right, so I'll check in with you guys straight after recording. All right guys, so we're pretty much done with the mix. Um, a little harder than I thought. I was like, oh, everything sounds amazing in the studio headphones and then I made sure to listen to the actual mix on my laptop speakers, on my sort of hi-fi system, on my uh, literally these these headphones here, and it sounded a little bit a little bit different. Um, so I did a few tweaks and kind of made it sound like just had a middle ground, making it sound as good as possible in all the different ways that I'm listening to it. So like laptop speakers headphones, everything. So kind of finding like a middle ground and also this is really important because A, I saw it on YouTube. No, I'm only joking. Um, I did see it on YouTube, but I had heard of it before. And also um, people are gonna be listening to your music through lots of different devices. So it's really important that there's sort of like a quality control and to make sure that it sounds more or less the same everywhere. But yeah, I'm just trying my best here. All right, so now I've opened a second pro project. All right, so you guys can see. I bounced the song, and here's the bounce right here, and here's my YouTube tutorial on how to master a track. So, let's do this. As I get better at doing this, I will be releasing like a step-by-step -step process for new artists to be able to gain more control over their creative process. I've said process probably like loads of times. Hey guys, I'm so happy to say I think I'm done. Oh man, like this has been a long process. Um, but yet super doable, which is the whole thing that I'm trying to prove with this, uh, proving it to myself that I can do this. So um, yeah, literally just been researching online, watched a few YouTube videos and uh, made some notes and tried out the master. Right now my ear cannot take another moment of doing this, so I'm gonna call it quits for today. Tomorrow, have another listen and make sure that it sounds the way I want it to sound and then start with the whole release process. So, hey guys, it's the next day now and the track is mastered, it's done. And I suppose this is the whole point why I'm doing this, but I just feel so like, oh, so doubtful of myself and I'm scared of what people are gonna think of the song and is it good enough and all of this crap which has stopped me in the past from releasing any music that I do so this is the whole point why I'm doing this is to kind of trust in the process of you know creating a song recording it and releasing it to the world because the idea that something's ever gonna be perfect doesn't exist because perfect is capturing that moment and as long as you've done that right then there's no perfect doesn't exist or a song will never be finished if you keep chasing this idea of perfection yeah i just feel really nervous now and really there's no more steps it's not still a work in progress like i'm pretty much done and i'm just really nervous to release it and <sighs> this is hard i know it's like i'm not going to regret doing it i know it's part of the process and i know the whole point of doing 12 songs is so 
song number 12 you know at the end of the year i can look back and be like wow look at the progress i've done um and it starts here so yeah i think you're doing the right thing i think that there's no such thing as perfection everyone has a different opinion of what everything is um and i think you've done an amazing track and your first track like if this is the starting point and the second track's gonna be better and the third track's gonna be better than that like thank you Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Questions is now out, available to stream, download, buy, anywhere. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. And that is it for me. Thank you for sharing your life with me.